Goggles and dive masks are two of those things that really only look normal in very specific situations. Welcome. Today is the first episode of Thirsty for Knowledge Thursday. Videos posted on Thursdays will usually pertain to sciencey things, but I won't restrict myself too much on the topic. The format for today will be what I'm calling questions you didn't know you had, where I talk about things that should raise questions but are generally taken for granted. For example, today's episode will be, why can't we see underwater? So here I've got a glass of water. It's nice and clear and I can see through it just fine. And this scales up well. If I went to an aquarium or a zoo, I could see the underwater exhibits just fine through the glass. But if I went underwater and opened my eyes, everything would be all blurry. However, putting on swim goggles or a dive mask and everything is all clear. So what's the factor that causes us to be able to see with a dive mask but not be able to see without it? Well, it comes down to something called Snell's Law and the anatomy of the eye. First, let's take a look at Snell's Law, also known as the Law of Refraction. Snell's Law concerns itself with how light is refracted or bent when it crosses the boundary between two different media, like air and water, or water and glass. It says that the sine of the angle of incidence over the sine of the angle of refraction equals the refractive index of the second substance over the refractive index of the first substance. Now, the refractive index is a unitless quantity found experimentally and based on the measurement of a certain wavelength of light. Things with a higher refractive index tend to slow light down more than things with a lower refractive index. It's this change in the speed of light that causes the light to bend when it crosses the boundary between two substances with different indexes of refraction. Let's do a couple different experiments to demonstrate this. So our first experiment will be with some regular tap water and a clear glass. First, fill up the glass with some water. And when I add a wooden spoon, you can see that the lines don't exactly line up. However, if I slowly add some oil to the water, now you can see that the spoon appears to be broken into three pieces. One in the section with air, one in the section with oil, and one in the section with water. This is because, as all the three different substances have different refractive indexes, they bend the light at different angles. As the eye is just a light-sensing organ, Snell's Law applies as the light travels from outside our body through all the different structures of the eye and back to the retina. Light entering the eye must first pass from the air, through the cornea, through the aqueous humor, through the lens, through the vitreous humor, and finally hitting the retina. When the ciliary muscles of the eye contract, it changes the shape of the lens. Changing the shape of the lens will cause the light to refract at a different angle on its path back to the retina. We need the light to be very focused when it hits the retina so that we see a nice clear picture. But this depends on all of the other indexes of refraction being exactly the same as normal starting with the air, the cornea, the aqueous humor, the vitreous humor, on its way back to the retina. Well, when you don't have air on the outside, when all of a sudden it's water, water and air have very different refractive indexes and thus changes the angle that the light is entering into the lens. And therefore, we can't focus it on our retina to make a clear picture. However, once we put on goggles or a mask, now there's air in front of our eye instead of water and thus we can focus light properly again because that's what our eye has evolved for. And there you have it. You can't see into water because your eye didn't evolve with water on the outside. It needs the air to properly refract the light and get it back to your retina in a nice clear picture. I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Questions You Didn't Know You Had. Look forward to more on the coming Thursdays. See ya. Seriously? <laughs> Unitless number. Questions you didn't know you had.